How are you doing? Today we're here with Kip Marker, who works for Sterling Clark, the professionals. Professionals number one office in Western Australia. We're in their newly renovated offices, moved in a few weeks ago. We did, yeah. We had the big grand opening. Yeah, saw that all through social media. And Kip is the number one salesperson in the office. So I thought here's a good opportunity to sit down and talk with one of the agents that's doing a lot of business at the moment and also um, utilises auction through his sales endeavours and I suppose it's important to speak to someone who does a mix of both private treaty and auction. So welcome Kip. Thanks. From an agent that does a lot of sales, what's your fear of auctions? It's a big auction day. Yeah. It's the auction day. It's that you've um, built it up um, and I suppose at the start, that was my biggest fear, but now I realise it's, it's all about the process. Auction's only, what, 5%. The, auction, the actual day, the, the 10 to 15 minutes of what the auction is, is nothing compared to marketing before the auction, the actual auction itself, and then marketing after the auction. Mm. It, it's the process. It's just so hard to find the price in this market. Um, yeah. And marketing without a price, it just gives you that opportunity to find where it sits, mm. gain that, to gain that competition, and all of a sudden you, you get a result for the seller, and you get a result for yourself, and the result for the buyer. What did now, you like about Walsh Bull Road? Oh, it was exciting, you know, they had the adrenaline was pumping, and, and get me in a home, open my cake, get me in front of people, and it's like I start to, you know. Mm. But you know, I, I, the adrenaline was pumping. You know, the, the videographer was there. Had the um, ice cream guy was there. People coming around, lots of talking, lots of chatting, lots of laughing. Um, you had your peers there. You had your competition there. The, everyone was there. Everyone. It was just a really. It was a great environment. And you were quite confident on the day too. That it was I was way. because having ten registered bidders. Mm. I just yeah, and, and and the reserve we had was. Um, you know, I mean, we, we were it was on realistic. Run. It was because we had sixty days of private treaty. The sellers realised we weren't going to get that top end, um, and where we were, I mean, to get what, sixty thousand dollars above the reserve is is, is awesome, and the, and the sellers were really ecstatic. In any market, it's in awesome. any market, yeah, yeah absolutely, so. yeah. So talking about that, sixty thousand above reserve, ten people registered. Do you ever come across 10 people making offers on a property via private treaty and selling 60 grand above an asking price? Um, back in 2006, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of agents at the moment dipping their toes in set date sales, expressions of interest, which are basically an auction, Yeah. just not the day. No, they're, they're, again, it's the fear of the auction day itself. Or well, just lack of understanding, like you said, you know, that was something that you didn't have a really good understanding of. No. But once you can understand what's required, but you have the luxury of the result. Yep. And a success story to preach to your prospective sellers, it is the difference, isn't it? It certainly is. And, and, and to be perfectly honest, Kim, if it wasn't for you um, educating me and, and, and I guess being a helping hand there to, to walk me through it, um, yeah, I... I'd still be very fearful of auctions. So if you're thinking about an auctioneer, give Kim a call. He'll walk you through it and he's, yeah, he's awesome. Thanks, Kip. That's great. Look, in saying that, absolutely, if you are looking at using the auction process, I have three tiered ways I can help you with the auction process. So feel free to give us a call. But thanks for tuning in. Have a good day. Cheers.